Bling bling. Welcome back to Lightwave Guru. And um, after I show the last two days, uh, some rectangular uh, procedural driven uh, uh, animations with uh, uh, instancer. I spent, I think, this scene or something like that, what I show here for the community that you can check out what the instancer can do for you. This here is, I think, a three or four year old scene that was uh, one uh, from my first tests with the instancer uh, if I become uh, the Octane renderer and I test with that uh, the deep depth of field and all that things. And that kind of uh, growing is uh, from that object is not with regular, regular instancing that is simple uh, a plane, a polygon plane, yeah, a flat polygon with uh, some polys and on every poly grow one from that instance there, yeah, from that long thing there. Yeah. And if you any, would animate that with the instancer, that's very simple. You need for that not nodes or something like that. You need for that only the stretch function, for example, from the instancer. So uh, we go now to Lightwave himself. Here is a scene. I found it now and I can play it in real time in uh, the preview. Yeah. And the blue uh, things you see there, that's uh, the, long, the long stretching box. And the green and the red parts is a second layer with the same animation over that as extra objects. Yeah, that's the thing. And that's the second uh, possibility to uh, grow objects on uh, in in the instancer uh, from uh, a surface or from a polygon yeah that means the uh, regular rectangular instancing examples i show the last days it's for real for beginners and the simplest what you can do with the instancer this is here a little bit the next level but also if you understand what i do not really uh, for professors <laughs> or for or for high educated nerds or geeks that's only the your limitation all time is your imagination okay that's all and my first idea was as i test the po uh, growing polygons from uh, growing uh, instances from polygons was that i would see a wave yeah that uh, I would realize a, a wave like that, a Xenos wave uh, on, that, uh, uh, on that instancing po polys here. Yeah? That's a rendering for that. And uh, the thing is, if you have uh, Octane and uh, fast computer, it makes so much fun to, to play with that. Yeah? And you become rel uh, in a relative short time if you produce, for example, motion graphics, things like that here, yeah. So we can now go in the instancer himself and I can show a little bit. It makes the Octane op uh, EPR off and show a little bit uh, the principle of growing, yeah. That means it's a really simple instancer setup. I know it. Uh, uh, that's bad sound for a beginner in his ears but for it's for real it's for real really simple you see uh, two uh, stacks from the same yeah they open the first instancer generator and if i show now here the the instance uh, the instance generator and i make it off here you see in the background the poly yeah from that poly the uh, grow the instance okay Now the one is now off. It's only the second over here. So, so we have two two layer. Yeah, in that case, I open the other and make it off. Yeah, you see here that's the second layer for the balls. Yeah. So, and what I do here is to grow my instance from polygons. Yeah, and say then max polygons here. Max 
if I uh, say max, you check out, ah, okay, my ground po my ground plane, you have uh, 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 20,000 polis, okay, I grow from there my, my box, yeah? And then I do the following, I go on the stretch here, stretch is one from the functions uh, to influence uh, the generated instance, and go in there, and in there, I drop, yeah, for the stretch min, stretch min and stretch max where, uh, um, parameter, the ripple 2 procedure, yeah? And that's the whole secret of that scene. It's in the end, if you have seen it, and I spent the scene for the community, you can check it out for yourself. If you see it in the end, it's a, yeah, a simple principle, yeah? So you grow it from a polygon and then you think, okay, I would have a wave, for example, here, like that ripple texture too, is animated. Yeah, with it with it wave speed here, you can animate it with that wave speed. You can see it, and with a specific wavelength. And my thing was okay. I need one wave source, not three or what. I need one, uh, and it go from the middle to outside from my poly, and then I search a little bit for the parameter. Yeah, what is the best uh, the best texture value? Uh, what is the best uh, the best high yeah for growing and and what time uh, it have to grow yeah and yeah that's only one thing if you would make complexer setups yeah you can for example here add the second uh, procedural and do something funny things with it you see it it was two clicks and they have the, the next crazy shit on your screen, you know? That mean if you would create things like, like that, yes, and one from the user mean uh, what I smoke for create scenes like that. Yeah, the thing is I think uh, I smoke nothing. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah. So you see it, it's uh, it was two clicks. I added to my ripples too, animated also the turbulence and set higher a little bit the layer opacity and now I have the next uh, the next crazy thing on my screen yeah and we can render just for fun what to do with my scene or with that scene yeah and now I have a variance in the in the high from the growing here yeah from my ground, uh, from my ground box, yeah. And I, I say it one more time: the best is no thinking, making, playing, and have fun, yeah. And if you mean you have a nice, nice idea and the scene work, you save it. Then you make the next version, yeah. Yeah, save the scene. That's my example eleven now. So save it. And now you can play more with it, yeah? For example, you check out the parameter from the turbulence, yeah? You can change, for example, here's the scaling, yeah? Or the uh, direction, in what direction it go, yeah? So, and um, that's what I, what I say often. Um, If you would understand uh, the, uh, tools like that, play with the parameter. Yeah, do something with that, or take another another ripple too. Yeah, a second ripple. And the wavelength means uh, how long is the wave here on that on that plane? Yeah, and the default uh, is here zero dot zero dot five, and you take for example ten. Yeah, and then it go wider and wider. You have then another uh, range from the wave sources. Yeah, here we have three wave sources. We take one wave source. Yeah, you can change individually the wave speed. Same here, go faster. And you see it's all real time. 
and uh, show me another program he do it in that way with that visual feedback Lightwave my friends and not another software can do that for you and uh, yeah that's the reason I show from time to time uh, my my work with Lightwave yeah that's the thing the thing is I'm pissed about that what I see oftentimes uh, what was produced with uh, from beginners with Lightwave and then show it that stuff on YouTube then if you search on YouTube for Lightwave stuff yeah you find the whole time five second videos with uh, uh, beginner stuff yeah and that's very uncool for the promotion from the software yeah and that's the reason I do that yeah so and you have seen now uh, how, how easy it is yeah and all that based only on the polygon yeah as if I mean if I make the instancer here off my first instancer you see you see it uh, I have, I have uh, two instance layer that mean I have here here this is the object yeah this it's, it's a flat polygon and I have a second flat polygon that had to have the form from the from that uh, thing here yes And uh, then I can uh, play with my instancing uh, stacks, yeah. And in the end, you have uh, things like that. And I mean, uh, the best way is for real to play with it. Yeah, I can show uh, things like that hours and hours. But in the end, it will bring more fun if you uh, build for yourself scenes like that. Yeah. And the idea in that case is really really simple you need not drugs for that <laughs> yes it's only two planes and on the planes works different uh, different instances uh, with uh, with different uh, animated procedural textures yeah yeah so now the rocks another ripple form it's all possible and uh, yeah, okay, I package now the scene and you can play play a little bit with it. I think that that, obtain, uh, that scene is Octane ready. If you load it with Lightwave Native, say no to all the Octane questions and then you see it also in your Lightwave and then you can shade it, it and play with it with your native Lightwave. Yes? Okay, package scene. Yeah? See you later. Bye-bye.